friends and welcome back to my channel. God, it has been a minute and a half since I've said that. Um, I took a good chunk of December off because it was a very busy month and then I went away for two and a half weeks. So happy new year, happy January, happy 2022. I hope you all had a really good time off if you took time off over the holiday period. Um, I did, I went to California, but now I'm back, I'm back home. I got back two days ago and some of my plans were a little bit rough around the edges. A lot of them were quite droopy. They hadn't been watered for two and a half weeks. Um, most of them were pretty okay though, so can't really complain. But yeah, I figured since it's January, mid-January, I would do a bit of a planty update, January update, January highlights sort of thing, kind of following after my December highlights that I did. I will link that video up there if that's something that you want to watch, check it out. But yeah, just going to give some updates and show you where my plants are at. So let's start off with something exciting. Do you see that? My philodendron white princess has a new freaking leaf, which is super exciting, obviously, because like, look how pretty the last one was. But this one is a little bit stuck. So I'm going to start off this video by doing something that I do not recommend anyone to do, and I'm going to help it out. Don't try this at home. I wouldn't do it. I do not suggest it, but you have to. This is the safest way to do it. I've got a cotton swab here and it is damp. And the first thing I do is I just like rub the sort of catafil. And then I go in from behind it and I get inside there. You see how I'm inside? And then I very slowly press it out. There we go. You can see already the leaf didn't want to be in that position, but I did it. Um, and there's also another little new leaf on the back there. It's kind of hard to see. So yeah, that's how you do it. If you really, really, really have to, I do not recommend it. If you can at all help it, don't do that, but sometimes you gotta. So there we go. That's how we do it safely. Next up, a very exciting update. My philodendron varicosum that you saw in the last video like coming down with thrips, I suppose. It's got a little new sprout there. So just where I took off the old leaf, it's got a little bit of a new sprout, which is super exciting. I haven't lost any other leaves. I did give it a good dousing of Pervanto before I left for holiday, but I left for two weeks, so there wasn't really much I could do. This leaf is a bit crispy and it probably will end up coming off eventually. But I haven't seen thrips on it since I got home, which is really good. I have checked pretty thoroughly, but I also did get some beneficial insects, so hopefully that'll help too if they're still there hiding secretly underneath there. One thing I desperately need to do is go around and take off all of the yellow leaves from my plants that have like gotten sad over these two weeks. So I'm just gonna go around and take off all of the yellowing leaves now. Another casualty we've had is this mame. Pretty sure it got root rot. I am not sure why, but it's very sad. So I'm gonna be throwing that away, unfortunately. I'm glad to see my polkachense has perked up a lot. It was so wilty yesterday because it hadn't been watered in a while and now it's looking a lot better. So I'm very glad about that. I was a bit worried. Oh my goodness, I need to take this plant down to show you this. I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it is so white. You can see there is some green in there, which is good, but it is so white. I think it might even be like half moon sort of white. I mean, like all of these leaves recently have been a sort of half moon. So I would not be surprised if this is another half moon. I think that one was as well. This one is very much so half moon variegation and I've been able to keep the whites pretty good recently. Like obviously I didn't down here, but that's when I wasn't giving it enough like humidity. So super excited about that. Can't wait to see how it unfurls and I will be sure to update you either on here or on Instagram about that because it's exciting. My Epipremnum skeleton key is doing super well as well, which is awesome. It's grown loads since I got it. I think I got it with like two or three leaves and now it's got five. But I am a bit curious about 
whether or not it is actually a skeleton key. Like obviously this leaf looks like it, but then all of the leaves as they're continuing, they don't have that sort of like key shape, which is like kind of important for the skeleton key aspect. Like it looks so similar to just my normal Epipredmum panata. Like they look exactly the same in my brain. Like, are they the same? I mean, obviously they're both Epipredmums, but why isn't it being a skeleton key? Have I been duped? Have I been duped? Help. I've got a new leaf on my Anthurium. What's this one? My Clarinervium. Oh my goodness, it is so dark. Look at that dark, dark, like almost black coloring in there. So that's super exciting. Hopefully that new leaf turns out really nice. I hope it will. I mean, the other leaves are looking a little bit spotty, I think just because of the sun, because like it is sunny in here. And these were the, like the original leaves that it had when I got it from Equigenera. So it might be a bit, like they'll be the first to go basically. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. Who's not excited about new leaves, right? It's like the best. On a slightly less happy note, I think all of my Marantas have spider mites. Not ideal. So these ones have been isolated since before I left. So now that I'm looking, I can't actually find any. So maybe the pest prevention I did right before I left worked. If so, freaking awesome. Thank you, SB Invigorator. But I'm pretty sure there's one that's still in the office that does have spider mites. But anyways, I will also be trying some predatory mites for against spider mites on these just to be safe because like all of these like new leaves have gone all dry and dead probably because of the spider mites. But yeah, these weren't living in the bathroom while I was gone. They were just isolated elsewhere. I just moved them back here because I don't want them in my way. So they just get to live in the dark. But yeah, so those aren't doing the best. And I also think this Syngonium Moonshine had spider mites, um, but hopefully it is also doing a bit better. I also treated it before I left. Also remember my Stingray, how I didn't know what was going on with it? Well, this is what it looked like two weeks ago and this is what it looks like now. <laughs> it was pretty much gone before I left. It was super duper unhappy. I literally have no idea what was wrong with it. It just did not like my home and it did not adjust well. So I am gonna go through the pot at some point and try and find some bulbs because there might be some bulbs in there. You never know. So see if I can get some Alocasia Stingray bulbs because that would be cool. Maybe one day I will try for an Alocasia Stingray again because I think they are really awesome plants, but it's just a shame that it didn't work out. So this is the one that I'm pretty sure has spider mites. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you. I didn't take this one out of the collection because it didn't look that bad, but I mean, all of the new leaves are gone and there's like quite a lot in here that's not doing too hot. So that's not very good. I will sort that out at some point or rather. <laughs> My Hoya Australis is doing so freaking well. It's loving this steak life. I've kept wrapping it around the top and now it's like overgrown the steak. So maybe I need something taller for it or like, I don't know, to wrap it tighter or something. But it looks really good on there. To, to think I was gonna give that away or like sell it. I don't know, I quite like it now, now that it's all like wrapped up and nice. Inside of the cabinet, the one thing that I've noticed that is not okay in here is that the Milano Chrysum has freaking thrips. I like, I went through and I squished a bunch yesterday, but it does have a new leaf. Oh, you can see one on the new leaf right at the top there. But yeah, so this whole bottom part of the cabinet probably has thrips because this is where the varicosum was. So I'm going to sort all this stuff out at some point. But yeah, my Syngonium Wenlandii is doing super duper well. Um, after I did break it off like a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and the top part I just stuck in moss and it's still growing, which is awesome. And then down there, those two leaves there, those are new. They were on the wet stick 
which had nothing because I broke off the like main bit. So pretty glad that that one's doing well. Next biggest thing, holy cow. Do you see this Gloriosum leaf? Look at the size difference. And that is just from putting it into this long pot. Sorry, move that. That's from putting it into this long pot so its roots can like creep along. Look at the difference in leaf size. Like what the heck? I'm absolutely buzzing. Like it's doing so well. This new leaf totally came in since I was gone as well. So that is super duper exciting. Um, what else is going on? Not much really. Like things are just doing okay. Oh my, um, my Amidrium Medium Silver, that old leaf is dying off. And it's new leaf has come in all nicely. So that's really good. I will sort out this perlite at some point, probably put it in pond, but I was waiting for this new leaf. So now that it's got the new leaf, I can sort it out. So that'll be super exciting. But yeah, not too much going on in the cabinet aside from pests at the bottom and some new leaves at the top. So yeah, all is well, I think. Oh my God, last thing, my banana plant, I'm pretty positive I forgot to water it before I went away and it lost so many leaves. I'm about to cut these off because they need to go, but I wanted to show you the devastation that is not watering your plants for probably about a month. So, I mean, it's still doing fine. It's got like this big leaf is good. It was just a bit droopy. And then this new leaf in here is doing okay. This one will probably survive. This one's probably on its way out now, but yeah, very sad at myself for letting that happen, but such is life. I don't mind, it'll be fine. I'll just need to trim off that business and we'll be all good to go. Other than that, everything's just kind of chugging along, doing its thing. So like those were really the main highlights and lowlights, main updates of everything. Everything else just seems to be super happy. So that is it for my January plant updates. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other houseplanty things you'd like me to talk about in the future and subscribe for more. Also, if you didn't know, I've got a Patreon where you can get more regular updates on my life, on my plants, on me. Yeah. So if that's your kind of thing, link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.